video I'm going to show you how you can use Zoom to share your screen and also be able to see the presenter view at the same time. One of the things I like when I'm presenting in the real world in the classroom in PowerPoint is to be able to have the PowerPoint display showing on the overhead projector but then the presenter mode on my laptop and for those of you who know presenter mode you know that it shows you the current slide that's on the screen it shows you the slides coming up and it also shows you your speaker notes which is sometimes uh, very useful to have um, and that presenter mode by the way only works when you have two monitors so that's either a, a projector plugged in which essentially becomes a second monitor um, or at home if you have a laptop and then a monitor to plug in you can also use presenter mode which means it can be used in zoom the only problem I found is that when you use presenter mode um, both the presenter mode and the um, PowerPoint um, display that you're going to share to um, participants both appear full screen and you can't change that so you can't resize those screens which makes it then a little bit difficult to see other things like the chat box, um, the participant menu, all the zoom controls that you might want. Also the screens are never really in the right place. I, I kind of want to look at my presenter mode because that gives me um, what slides are coming next, it gives me my speaker notes, but that means if I'm looking at that it, it may not be on the same um, place where my camera is. Also I'm not truly seeing on the presenter mode if I'm looking at that I'm not truly seeing what the participants are seeing because they're not seeing the presenter mode they're seeing my um, full display uh, run of the PowerPoint if that makes sense also if I've asked people to annotate um, then that appears on the shared screen so there's lots of lots of difficulties and I've been thinking about this and, and ways around it and one way I've come up with it is it's not ideal it's a little bit clunky but if you really want to see your um, speaker notes at the same time one way I've come up with is to not share um, in presenter view or the or actually run the PowerPoint but just share the PowerPoint in design mode let me show you what I mean so um, here's zoom I'm going to share a screen I would do all this up front not in real time because again it can be a bit clunky but I'm going to share a screen um, actually I'm not I'm going to call up PowerPoint first of all so I've got that running there and then I'm going to share um, screen and this time whereas normally I'd be sharing um, the PowerPoint running in display mode what I'm going to do is go to an advanced feature here and choose a portion of the screen so I'm going to share and then what it gives me is a green box so I put that around the bit I want to share so this is PowerPoint you can see um, which is running in design mode normally I wouldn't show this so but I, what I'm going to do is just share to my zoom participants this part of the screen um, and I will put what it looks like to participants in a separate video window which you should be able to see at the bottom right hand corner um, so what participants will see is just this bit so it looks as if they're viewing the full screen um, I just get it exactly right and you can resize this to make it exactly right so that looks as if uh, to participants that they're viewing a PowerPoint run. Now, a couple of things you need to be careful of. If you click inside somewhere, you'll kind of give the game away. Um, does that really matter? I don't know. It depends how important your speaker notes, because what you can see down here, which nobody else can see, are your speaker notes. So I can do all of that. I can even see, just like in presenter mode, mode what slides are coming next. Um, I can click on that and um, people can use it just as normal. I can even decide to jump a few slides. If I suddenly want to decide to jump to a completely different slide, I can do that here, just like you can do in uh, presenter mode. I can still see all my um, speaker notes in case they're important to me. Um, another thing that you need to be careful of in here is that you kind of don't give the game away if you leave any of these design elements up here so I would I would take those out so, um, so that would just be a case of before I show the presentation just clicking on each of those and deleting them one really cool thing that you can do in here is if you've created 
a um, page like this where just before this page you will have sent your participants in Zoom to Zoom breakout rooms, got them to have a discussion around advantages or disadvantages, or in fact they could be shouting stuff out to you now in the main room. One thing you can then do is, because this is real PowerPoint in real time, you can use all of the features of PowerPoint to capture what they're talking about. So here if they're talking about disadvantages, um, it's very easy to use versus advantages we really like this option press return you can put you can make these into bullets because it's just you're using PowerPoint um, you can make sure that these are formatted into green for the advantages uh, maybe a nice orange for the disadvantages um, it's nice and whoops spelling mistake it's nice and simple etc. So again, just a bit easier than if you're using Zoom and the annotation board. It's a little bit clunky to type and you don't get all these great formatting options. And remember, all that the audience sees, the Zoom participants, is this bit in the box. Um, you just need to be a bit careful that you don't move things around. So if, if you move the screen around, then participants will start to see other parts. Whatever's in that green box will get shared. So you need to make sure you're always in there. Um, that you're probably using uh, the mouse pointer to click onto the next slide or using the down arrow key will do the same. If you're in the notes, if you've clicked in the notes view then uh, and you're moving up and down, I haven't got any notes in here, it doesn't show, but that would move the notes up and down, it might throw the page out. So again, not ideal, but you know, for some people it might be really helpful if you want to, to do two things, be able to see your speaker notes easily and also maybe to use this annotation function to capture in a really nice, neat way what people are saying. Hope that's useful. Check in for some more videos and share these if you find them useful.